Hi guys and welcome back. In today's video, we'll be taking a quick look at Dante within the Arcadia and how we manage those settings. We'll also be taking a look at how the Arcadia appears in Dante Controller. So let's go ahead and log in to the Arcadia CCM. Once you're logged in, head over to Hardware and then Host. And you can see here we have the four LANs. Choose which LANs you wish to use for your primary and secondary Dante feeds. For today's video, I'm just going to use LAN 2 for my primary Dante feed. If you wish to go ahead and use a secondary Dante feed, please do on LAN 3 or LAN 4. But I don't need that for today's video, so I'm going to leave it as it is. You see here we have a status error. This is just because we've created a new Dante connection and because it's dynamic within the Arcadia, it will work itself out with the Dante controller on the laptop, as long as your Dante controller is set up in dynamic mode too, or DHCP mode, depending on what you want to call it. So once that's created, head over to resources and let's create a Dante channel. So click on the big blue add button. And let's give this a name so that when we come to add this to a channel, we can reference it. For argument's sake, let's say front of house want to send a Dante feed down channel one. You can select any of the channel you want to, but for this, we'll leave it in channel one and create it. Let's go. That's done. So let's select the channel. And on the right hand side, you can adjust the input gain, the output gain. You can also remove it once you're done. And you can rename the channel if you want to by clicking on the pencil icon. So it's also worth noting that a Dante channel equals a licensed port on the Arcadia. So if I was to make another channel in Dante, it would take up another licensed port. So for instance, the Arcadia I have here is a 32 licensed port Arcadia. If I was to then add 20 FreeSpeak 2 belt packs, that would then take it up to 23. I now have nine license ports available. I could then add in a couple more Dante channels if I wanted to without hitting my limit. So it's always worth considering the limitations of your license ports on the Arcadia before you start expanding out. And you can always increase the number of license ports you have by a factor of 16 by getting in touch and buying them as you need to go. Let's go ahead and bring that Dante feed into one of our channels. You can bring it into all of them if you wish to, but for me, I'm gonna bring it into the audio channel scroll down to the Dante section and bring in the channel you want. That Dante feed will now be in that channel and any users or any roles with audio assigned to them, for instance John here has audio on KeyD, they'll also be able to hear the Dante feed. So there you go, that's how you set that up. If you wish to review the settings of the Dante connections, select status, head down to host device here and scroll down until you see your Dante primary network settings. Let's take a quick look at how this appears in Dante controller. So here you can see we have all 64 channels. And once you add more receivers in or more Dante devices, you'll be able to assign that channel to that device. It's worth noting that although you can see the 64 channels here, you can only use as many as your license allows. Well, there you go. That's how you set up Dante and assign it to a channel within the Arcadia and how it appears within the Dante controller. If you like the video, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next video. Till then, take care guys. Bye bye.